Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. SSET English Town. Hi again, everybody. Okay, today we will continue in School Subject Readings 2, the student book and the workbook. Today we will do Unit 16, the last unit. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so let's start with our vocab list. So, let's see. Number one. President. President. Let's see. President is the, the leader. of some countries. So some countries say their leader is the president, some countries have a king or a queen, or in Canada we have a prime minister. And it's same as president, just different names. So president is like Donald Trump or Moon Jae-in, the leader in a country. Uh, next we have forest. A forest is a large area covered with trees. When you have many trees together, it's a forest. Easy. Remember. Remember is not forget or to know from the past. So one day, your mom says, my favorite flower is roses. And then two weeks later, it's her birthday, and you want to buy her a present. And you remember, oh, she told me her favorite flower. I can buy that for her because I know it from the past, from she told me two weeks ago. And next is nickname. For nickname, where it says this. Where it says familiar or humorous, you can cross that out. A nickname is a name given to a person or thing instead of or as well as the real name. So English name is like a nickname. You have your Korean name, your real name, an English name, a name maybe you choose or your parents choose, and sometimes people call you that. Um, in English, we have sometimes very long names like Jonathan. So maybe for Jonathan, we will just call him John because it's short and easier to say than Jonathan. So John is nickname. Um, sometimes your friends will have another name for you that's a joke. So maybe your friends like to call you Ladybug or Flower or um, Genius, and that's a nickname, something somebody calls you that is not your name. Then let's do C. C is 
just look with the eyes. Right now, you see me on the video, and I see the camera. I don't see you. Next is call. So call can mean many things. Call can be like on the telephone, like I call my mom. But call can also be give someone or something a name. Like, my name is Rose. You call me Rose. So call is Give someone or something a name. And next is animal. Animal is basically a living thing that is not a plant. Basically. Don't tell your science teacher because this isn't really right, but basically, you know animal. And then baby is a very young child or animal, especially one newly or recently born. You know baby. Baby is easy. All right. Make sure you have all of your vocab written down. And now let's open our student's book to unit 16 on page 70. Unit 16, the teddy bear. Okay, so try to read on your own at home and I will read now too. Many children like teddy bears. Do you know how they got their names? Long ago, Theodore Roosevelt was the president of the United States. Mr. Roosevelt liked the forest. He liked animals. One day, Mr. Roosevelt was in a forest. He saw a bear. It was a baby bear. Some people said, kill the bear. Mr. Roosevelt would not kill the bear. Morris Mictum heard about Mr. Roosevelt's story. He made a doll of the baby bear. He wanted to remember this story. He called the doll a teddy bear. Teddy is a nickname for Theodore. Today, many people have teddy bears, but most people don't know the story of their name or where they came from. This is true. This is how teddy bears happen. So just like John is for Jonathan, Teddy is for Theodore. Teddy is much easier than Theodore. So we say Teddy. Okay, please do page 70 and 71 now. Thank you. 
let's do page 70, this blue part at the bottom. Number one is remember. Forget is not remember. So on a test, you see a question and, ah, I don't remember, I forget. Very bad, so study. Number two is president. Maybe you recognize President Obama from the United States. Number three is nickname. Because this is um, from a car. It's called license plate. Um, it has numbers and letters that tell what whose car it is. So in New York, New York City, the nickname for New York City is the Big Apple. I don't know why, but it is. And the nickname for the state, the big area with many cities that New York is in, is called the Empire State. So there are two nicknames on that license plate. Amazing! And number four is Forest. Easy. Okay, then on page 71, this quick check, who are they? And they want you to write it instead of match. So, number one, they. This they is about teddy bears. Number two, he. Who is he? He is Theodore Roosevelt. And number three, it. What is it? It was a baby bear. Okay, and then the blue box at the bottom in page 71. You can become the president. If you work very hard, and many people like you, you can become the president. And then number two, they tell you, remember to brush your teeth. Number three, you can live in the forest. And four, you give someone a nickname. When you make a new name for someone, like if you start to call your friend Flower, you just give them a nickname. Okay, now you can do page 72 and 73 and we will take it up together.
Number one in part A on page 72. What is this article about? The answer is C, how the teddy bear was named. Number two, the teddy bear was named after A, a president. Number three, what did people tell Mr. Roosevelt? The answer is C, kill the bear. And number four, today people don't know D, the story of the teddy bear. Okay, part B. Number one, what did Morris McDum call the, the doll he made? He called the doll a teddy bear. Number two, why did Mr. McDum choose this name? Answer, Teddy is a nickname for Theodore. Okay, page 73. Uh, number one, so we're doing cause and effect. So, first, Mr. Roosevelt liked animals. So what was the effect? Mr. Roosevelt would not kill the bear. Okay, next, our next cause is Teddy is a nickname for Theodore. And our effect, Morris Mictum called the doll a teddy bear. Okay, down on the bottom, summary. Number one, Theodore Roosevelt saw baby bear in a forest. Two is B, Mr. Roosevelt would not kill the bear. Three, he want, Morris McDum wanted to remember the story. Four, he made a doll of the bear. And five, C, he called the doll a teddy bear. So check your answers. And now we finish the student book. Yay! So open up your workbook and we can finish this to page 34 and 35, part A, B, D, we will do part C, the dictation together again.
Okay. So number one in part A on page 34. Number one, nickname. And our sentence is, where is it? Teddy is a nickname for Theodore. Number two, president. In our sentence, long ago, Theodore Roosevelt was the president of the United States. Number three, forest. The sentence is, Mr. Roosevelt likes the forest. And number four, remember. The sentence is, he wanted to remember this story. Okay, part B. Number one, the president is the leader of a country. D. Number two, many trees and animals live in the Forest. A. Three. Bill is a nickname. B. For William. Four. I don't remember. D. Your number. Tell me again, please. Okay, part D. What did Morris Mictum do? Well, first, he for both. Our answers will both use he. He what? He heard about Mr. Roosevelt's story and he made a doll of the baby bear. What is Teddy? First, it is a nickname for Theodore. And it is the name of the doll. Okay, check your answers. Almost done. Just dictation. And that's it. can listen to the CD at home, and I will read the dictation now. Many children like teddy bears. Do you know how they got their names? Long ago, Theodore Roosevelt was the president of the United States. Mr. Roosevelt liked the forest. He liked animals. One day, Mr. Roosevelt was in a forest. He saw a bear. It was a baby bear. Some people said, kill the bear. Mr. Roosevelt would not kill the bear. Morris' victim heard about Mr. Roosevelt's story. He made a doll of the baby bear. He wanted to remember this story. He called the doll a teddy bear. Teddy is a nickname for Theodore. Today, many people have teddy bears but most people don't know the story of their name or where they came from. Okay, let's go through. So first, long ago, Theodore Roosevelt was the president. Next, Mr. Roosevelt would not kill the bear. Oh, whoops, he likes animals. One day, oops. One day he was in the forest. Then, he would not kill. He 
Hold the dog. Teddy is a nickname for. Okay, check your spelling. And that's it. We are done. School subject readings too. Good job, everybody, and congratulations. Okay, thanks for joining me in this video, and I hope I will see you guys soon. Bye. Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. S-S-E-T, English Town.